Hello everyone. Today I want to assemble a fairly simple, but well proven indicator of the sound signal level. And I will assemble it from the most common radio components. It will contain 24 LEDs. Its height will be about 20 centimeters. And I will assemble it with a hinged or volumetric installation. What will come out of this venture, and whether it will work at all, you can see in this video. First of all, I will make a frame out of copper wire, which will be the basis of this whole structure. It will also contain the first part of the scheme. The principle of operation of this scheme is very simple. Variable resistance regulates the level of the input signal, which is then amplified by the transistor VT1 and appears on the emitter repeater made on the transistor VT2. In this case, an emitter repeater is used to match a signal source having a high internal resistance with a low resistance load. A chain of 12 transistors is connected as a load which turn on and off the LEDs depending on the level of the incoming signal. High frequency silicon diodes CD522 are installed in the circuit of the base terminals of all transistors. These diodes are needed in order to increase the threshold of operation of each subsequent transistor, that is, a certain voltage drop occurs on each diode, and in order for the transistor following this diode to open, the level of the incoming signal should become slightly higher than it was on the previous transistor. According to this principle, this indicator of the sound signal level works. The transistor terminals had to be slightly lengthened so that it could then be placed in the right place. In this scheme, I use rather outdated, but still widespread transistors, such as KT315, KT3102 and KT3107. These transistors, of course, can be replaced with more modern ones, for example, KT3107 can be replaced with BC557, and the KT315 and KT3102 transistor can be replaced with a BC547 transistor or other transistors similar in parameters. Now I will solder the capacitor to 100 nanofreds, and the lower part of the structure is ready. Now I can go to the top of the beep indicator.
I made the guides or racks out of steel wire, which I had previously marked up. I will solder KT315 transistors to the first guide every one and a half centimeters. Dot I will solder 24 LEDs to the second guide every 7 millimeters. In this audio signal level indicator, I use 24 LEDs, that is, 2 LEDs on each transistor. Of course, you can use 1 LED. But since I wanted to make this indicator more unusual, that's why I decided to connect 2 LEDs for each transistor. Now it is possible to connect these two guides, and I will do it with the help of resistances at 330 ohms. At the base of each transistor, I will solder a resistance of 1 kilo, and then I will connect these resistances with diodes. It remains only to connect the lower and upper parts of the sound level indicator, solder the wires to supply the signal and the supply voltage, and you can check what happened in the end. I will connect the audio signal level indicator to this music center, or rather to its line output. And this is the best option, because in this case it will be enough to set the sensitivity of the indicator once, and in the future it will not be possible to return to this. This indicator, of course, can be connected directly to the speaker, but then, depending on the volume, I will have to constantly adjust the sensitivity of the indicator. And this is not very convenient. I will connect the phone to the additional input to give an audio signal.
and I will connect an audio indicator to the line output. The supply voltage is 9 volts. Everything is ready and it's time to check what happened. This concludes this video. If you liked it, if you liked this version of the audio signal level indicator, then do not forget to subscribe to the Invex Lab channel so as not to miss new videos and new homemade ones. I thank you for watching and bye.